Hey guys, it's the Lazy Stone here, and I'm back for another video. So I watched a Rebel Taxi video about Johnny Test, the American Canadian cartoon show made by Scott Fellows, and then I thought of Dexter's Laboratory back a while back, and Rebel Taxi actually pointed out that the shows are kind of the same, but they're kind of the opposite. Siblings, one a scientist and inventor having a laboratory in the basement wherever in the house and a not so smart sibling trying to bother them during their time of working on an invention. It came across my mind and then I figured something that baffled me. Something that didn't make sense but made so much more sense when I read the facts. Bear with me here as I tell you guys something that I figured out on the top of my head. Something that no one has been talking about for ages. It's benign, and it was right in front of you guys the whole entire time. Y'all didn't even figure this out until I talked about it right now on this video. So you know Mandark from Dexter's Lab? Well, notice how he has a similar haircut to Susan Test, Johnny's sister. Do you see the similarities? And it just gets creepier. The fact that Mandark's mom looks similar to Susan Test on Johnny Test so if I can build a weird yet hollow visible bridge together, Ocean Bird, Mandark's mom is Susan Tess, but in the past. My first train of thought, my evidence, is that both characters are somewhat the same height. They're both tall, they both have long hair, their hair is red. They also have star-like accessories hanged on their heads. One has star earrings, and one has some type of, I don't, I don't know what that is. I mean. Susan's wearing something with a star on it. So that makes her, you know, uh, Ocean Bird, but from the past. Why? Because Ocean Bird is actually Susan Tess who traveled from the future to the past. Really confusing, but it makes sense. Follow me on this one. We all know that both girls, both of these sisters, Mary and Susan Tess, love Gil next door. They don't like him. They love this guy. He's blonde, he's tannish, he's a surfer boy, he's a skater boy, he's all the above. He's basically a dream boy to them. But here's the thing, they want to marry him. They want to be his wife or they want to be his wives. They both want to share him. And in that weird sense, yeah, this would add on to the insanity of this theory that I'm joined to make. And to the point where these two would put into a sibling rivalry, something that would probably destroy them and their relationship as a family as a whole. Basically meaning that when Susan Test went into a fit of rage because Mary Test got along with Gil and she didn't take that too kindly. So what she did was she murdered Mary Test and Gil. And after that, Johnny Test actually figured out that Susan killed Mary and Gil. So they both went into a fight. Johnny tried to find what some way to, you know, take Susan down and put her to jail or prison because she killed his sister, Mary. So so Susan just killed off Johnny and that's what happened so that would make sense so she didn't want to turn into a life of crime and go to prison whatever and the lab was destroyed because of the little battle Johnny and Susan had so Susan uh, probably killed her parents went back in time looked through the rubbles tried to find a time traveling device to go back in time where well why not other than Woodstock and it was probably during the 1970s where Woodstock actually existed so Here's my evidence here. So it turns out Susan is more like Johnny and she has a boyish like charm. She acts a little bit more crazy and she acts a little bit more vicious and she acts more va masculine more than a Susan, a Mar Mary. So <laughs> stuttering here. Mary is more of a logical side of her and she's like a twin. So two twins actually probably have two type of genetics and that's probably what makes them a little bit unique than more like similar so it turns out that susan was a little bit more in the crazier side and mary was more of the more logical thinking she was more open-minded she actually cared about what other people think but susan however she would actually change people's minds and of course this is what she did she basically turned into a life of crime so why is susan ocean bird here's another example mandark's name is not mandark Mandark changed his name. If all of you old watching Cartoon Network viewers know this, Mandark was named Susan. Susan! That means that Ocean Bird hated her name, or no, she didn't hate her name, she just couldn't have her name. She didn't even want any memory of what happened at the future. 
So she came to the past to create a whole other family in her own little fantasy world where she would have a daughter named Susan and she would grow and enjoy life peacefully instead of just being obsessed with science and technology. That would make so much sense and why she married off with a hippie guy instead of some other guy who was intellectual. There were not that many case studies there here and there, but it is actually a thing. It's a cultural sense where uh, most mothers just dress their son up as a, if they were their daughter. It doesn't make any sense, but it does make it into a point where that son would end up being a serial killer or somewhat obsessive with violence. Of course, that is Mandark's personality trait if you look up at the WikiLeaks. So if you look up this website, Mandark is known to be violent and full of war, and his parents are basically peaceful. Mandark's personality traits matches so well with what a serial 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 serial, serial killer has in order to have an obs a life obsessed with murdering people, killing people, making weapons of mass destruction. Mandark was in a whole entire new level compared to just being a normal serial killer. So of course this was make sense. And yes, his childhood was that messed up to the point where he makes a laboratory by himself. And yes, that trait would make sense because that's a genetic that was carried on from Susan Test, who was from the future, came to the past and made Mandark. But we meet, but we need more evidence, all right? How can we prove that Mandark is the son of Susan Test? Well, guess what? Both like Blonde dudes, surfer-like dudes, tanned dudes that like to, they basically like to hang out with tanned blonde dudes with blue eyes. You don't believe me? Check this shit out. Look how they look at each other. That is gay. That is so gay. But anyways, yeah. Do, do you understand? This guy is tan. And yeah, and, and Dini, she has blue eyes and she's blonde too. Yeah, and look, look. Do I, I rest my case? My viewers, I rest my case. I rest my case here. Do you need any more evidence than this? I can't, I can't go on. I can go on. Mandark pulled a second option. He went over for a fucking surfer dude because he has a passion for surfing. Just like Gil from fucking Johnny Tess. And yes, he likes to skateboard and surf. So that makes sense. So after all that evidence, I think we could come to the conclusion that Ocean Bird is actually Susan Tess and the offspring Mandark is actually a boy genius that came from the genetics of Susan Tess. This makes a lot of sense. Now I understand. Maybe Scott Fellows got something from this show from the past. We don't know yet. I don't think there's even evidence about it. I'll search it up real quick. Wait one second. Yeah, sorry guys. There really is no reason why behind it. But I think it should be one of those reasons because Dexter's Laboratory is an iconic view on Cartoon Network. So it would make sense that he made a cartoon show just like this. And of course, this would make sense afterwards where basically this show was a spinoff of Dexter's Laboratory, but in a different way, in a different animation product from another company. Duh. So yeah, uh, what do you think about my theory? If it was a little bit off, uh, let me know what it's about and, you know, put it on the comment section. Also, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll just put it at the end of this video and thank you. Oh, wait, I got a text. Well, you know, fuck it. Bye.